Hey everybody, welcome to another Chef Knives to Go quick look product review. I'm Steve Gamash and what we have this time is the uh, big old long title here, Yahiko Ginsan Nashiji Hand Engraved Kiritsuke 210mm Knife from Chef Knives to Go. Uh, this line of knives has a lot of cool features, among them is um, hand engraving, uh, which is really cool and really kanji. So this one has all stainless construction. It's uh, core steel, which you can kind of see peeking out from the uh, cladding here, is what's known as Ginsan or Ginsanko or Silver 3. Full stainless steel. It's fine grain. It gets stinking super sharp, almost like a reactive uh, high carbon steel and uh, it'll hold you know reasonable edge but it'll get really really sharp if you do your part it's great kitchen knife steel heat treats typically about 61 maybe 62 rockwell on that the construction again is all stainless so they've got a soft stainless cladding on either side and that has uh, what's known as a pear skin nasiji or modeled finish to it known as pear skin finish and then here's um, where the grind starts and you've got your uh, alternate finish there, and then there's your line for the cladding peaking, giving way to the core steel towards the edge. Very nice looking blade. Weight and dimensions on these can vary a little bit from knife to knife. This particular one is 144 grams or 5.1 ounces, so it's fairly light for the size of the blade. Edge length is about 215 or about 8.5 inches from the tip to the back of the heel, and the overall length is about 370 millimeters or 14.6 inches. The spine thickness is about two millimeters all the way down. It's a little, you get some hammer marks in here and stuff, but basically about two millimeters all the way down. You get that corner on this reverse sword type tip and you can see it gets pretty dang thin towards the edge or towards the tip. And then it'll get thin towards the edge as well. So very nice performance on this. Uh, the height's about 45 millimeters at the back, not super tall, but typical for this style of blade. You've got, in the choil, the back of the blade, you've got a kind of a good curve right there that fits your finger nicely, kind of nestles in before it bumps back out towards the, the handle, the ferrule on the handle. So nice spot for your, fin your finger right there in a pinch grip. In terms of the balance point, it's a fairly light handle, so that brings the balance point a little bit further forward, about right there, balance point on this one, which is definitely going to be in front of a pinch grip for me, but gives you a little bit of weight forward, kind of cutting power feel to it. Uh, the handle is a good basic octagonal, uh, what's known as Sakuda or cherry wood handle, and then the ferrule is a black pack of wood, stabilized wood product. They've got a good job sealing up that tang where it goes into the handle, so that's nicely done. Fit and finish, they've done a nice job on these. A little bit of polishing and relieving on the corners of the spine. They've done a nice job polishing up and relieving the corners of the choil into the neck there, so very comfortable. This is nice and sharp out of the box. I'll give it a 7 out of 10 on my scale, so definitely ready to rock and roll right out of the box. Let's get our beauty shot. You can see it's a very a striking finish to it. We do have some engraved kanji right there on the right side of the blade. And there's your pear skin finish, your nashiji. And then here's the left side of the blade. So every knife's going to be unique. So these are just cool. Good, good spot there where you can see the cladding. Uh, clean grind, so the grinds are clean. Nice straight blade. Let's get a look at the cutting board profile. That looks fairly flat, but we'll take a look, which is typical of this style. And it is. So it's not perfectly flat, which is good. So kind of just a little bit of gentle belly or curve to the entire profile. So not super flat at the back, but a little flatter towards the back spot. Tips quite low in relation to center line. So you're not going to rock this too much. That tip digs in pretty quick. Uh, so this isn't going to be a, a champ rocker. Now if you got some short stuff like scallions, things like that, chives, no problem, but bigger stuff, and that tip's going to dig in. However, tip draws to cut through food. This way it'll be super easy because you don't have to lift the handle very high. And you can do push-pull cuts, glide cuts, a little bit of chopping on it. So fairly versatile profile. Just not much for rocking. As long as that's not where you got to be, this knife's pretty cool. 
So, uh, great package, a lot of value, uh, excellent steel, nice fit and finish, uh, well done. This is the Yahiko Ginsan Nashiji hand engraved uh, Kuritsuke 210 millimeter knife from Chef Knives to Go.